Hello chess lovers! On the 23rd of June, at 12 years, 10 months and 13 days, Indian chess prodigy Ramesh Babu Pragnananta has become the world's second youngest grandmaster and the youngest ever Indian to achieve the feat after reaching the final round at the Grand Inn Open in Italy. Pragnananta missed out on becoming the youngest ever by three months with Sergei Koryakin of Ukraine, holding the record of being the youngest grandmaster in the world at 12 years 7 months, a feat achieved in 2002. Now let's have a look at the historical game played in round 8, which made Pragnananta the second youngest grandmaster in history. He was playing with white pieces and his opponent was Luca Moroni. Pragnananta started with e4 and e5 by Moroni, knight f3, knight c6 and bishop b5, we see Rui Lopez, knight e7, Moroni goes for Kozio defense, which is an old-fashioned and the least popular of the defenses, c3, white is preparing to establish a strong center, g6, d4, e takes d4, c takes d4, bishop g7, d5, Instantly, white is grabbing the initiative in the center, a6, black is counter-attacking white bishop, bishop e2, knight e5, we see the exchange of knights on e5 square, knight c3, d6, white castles kingside, and c5. Not a good idea, it was better to play f5. If f4, then bishop g7, and castle kingside, but instead we see c5. White captured en passant, b takes c6 and bishop h6. Black king is still stuck in the center of the board and by playing bishop h6, white is not allowing black to castle kingside. d5 looks a bit risky decision. As I've already mentioned, black king is still stuck in the center of the board and allowing white to open up the center of the board can be dangerous for black king. Queen d3, bishop e6, now comes f4. Queen b6 check, king h1 and d takes e4. Well, it was better to capture on c3 and then play d3, though after queen d3 still white has an advantage. This king is a real problem for black pieces. But instead after king h1 we see d takes e4, knight takes e4, rook d8, queen a3. Now this white queen will start menacing black king from afar. Right now the bishop on e5 square is hanging, we see bishop d4 and bishop g5, white is threatening checkmate in 1. By the way, knight d6 check is not a good idea which on the surface looks tempting, because black can capture on d6 and then play knight f5, fork the queen and the bishop and then win this bishop. That's why after bishop d4 we see bishop g5. c5 and knight f6 check, white is forcing black to give up this bishop, otherwise if a move like king f8 then bishop h6 checkmate. That's why after knight f6 check we see bishop takes f6. Of course not a pleasant decision for black because the black bishop had a strong outpost on d4 square and was partially covering the weaknesses of the dark squares. Now comes bishop takes f6, rook g8, rook d1, we see the exchange of rooks on d1 square, knight d5, Bishop h4, king f8, black wants to castle by hand and bring this king on a safer square, bishop f3, queen b5, and bishop takes d5, bishop takes d5, black is exploiting white's back rank weakness, you can't capture on d5 because of this queen f1 checkmate, that's why after bishop takes d5, Pragnananta played queen e3. Now he wants to play bishop f6 and already there are some mating ideas. g5, well if a move like bishop e6 then again bishop f6 is finishing up black, that's why after queen e3 we see g5. And now the dark squared bishop is simply grabbing the pawn, queen c6, queen e7 check, king g7, queen e5 check, f6, queen takes d5. Queen takes d5, rook takes d5, f takes g5, and after rook takes g5 check, Moroni resigned. If king f7, then after the exchange of rooks it's over. This is a pawn end game where white has two extra pawns and this is an easy win. That's why after rook takes g5 check, black resigned.
And by beating Luca Moroni in round 8, Pragnanata needed to play an opponent above a rating of 2482 in the final round to make his third norm. Luck shone on him when he was paired with Grandmaster Prudgesers Royaland, rated 2514. Moreover, Pragnanata won that game as well. Congratulations to the Indian chess prodigy and let's wish him more achievements in chess. Thanks for watching, if you have any questions don't hesitate to leave your comments and for more games don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Good luck!